towards in game combo clock to investor. Welcome to the top 10 highest CGC combo sold on eBay for the week of January 15th to January 21st. So coming number 10 with John Sai X-Men number 1, CGC's, uh, this is the signature series, grade 9.2, this one came out in 1975. The first new X-Men is signed by uh, Lee and Claremont. Uh, this one has an auction price of some doubt in the $801 with 40 bits. Uh, this is the, obviously it's a yellow label there. So let's zoom out a little bit. Let's check what the blue label will go for though. This is right here, John Mike X-Men. Uh, this is actually um, December 1, 1974 right here there. So let's go down here. So a blue label, so uh, this is a blue label here. Uh, gold class suggests a fair market value of 6750 Gold quartz, obviously it's um, a lot higher back in one year ago and then nine day and 30 day, I'll just keep dropping. So you're looking at, um, so the one that was sold for some that you had, so you're looking at one thousand one hundred dollar more than the uh, fair market value for the blue label. Come number nine, X Men issue one. This is origin and first appearance of X Men and Magneto. This is great. This is three This one came out in nineteen sixty three. This one has the final auction price of eight thousand two hundred nine bits and and a very cheap ten dollars shipping though. So these books are definitely still going down. Um, like I said in the previous um, videos, I did not have one of these, and I'm planning to get one soon. Though I'm still tracking and trying to find the best deal to add to my personal collection. There. Coming number eight, we have Incredible Hulk issue one eighty one, CG nine point zero. This one at white pages. Uh, uh, first appearance of the Wolverine. So, and this is nineteen seventy four. Well. So some people might say this is not a first appearance, some patients may be first cover appearance, but that's debatable. So this one has an asking price of $9,000, but it's actually sold for 8500 And coming up with seven, we have another Incredible Hulk issue 181, also the same grade as the other one. This is also a 9.0. This one sold for eight thousand nine hundred. The other one was eight thousand five hundred. So, uh, based on um, who's looking that week and who's buying that week, and that's why the price is a little bit different. So, let's go over to GPA. So, GPA right here. Um, we have a nine point zero going across. So we have. So this is the one that's with the most recent sale. Uh, nine day average eight thousand two hundred thirty. So, uh, it's a comic book coming back on a rebound, and then. The one year average and I doubt so definitely almost like nine. I was a nine hundred dollar drop though from compared to a one year average. So let's click on to this right here. Let's go right here. So obviously two sell. I mean this was just before this. This one was I just mentioned that, and this was eight thousand nine hundred, and back in twenty twenty two, uh it was a high of thirteen thousand and twenty twenty one a high of fifteen thousand. So. Almost about half though, just a little bit more than half of what it was back in 2021 there. Coming number six, we have a uh, red 35 cents variant Star Wars issue one. This is great season 8.5 off white the white pages. This one has an asset price of 10995 but it's actually sold for $2,000 less. So sold for $8,995. Obviously Star Wars is still popular. You're still going to see a lot more of these Star Wars um, shows on Disney+. Plus. So definitely um, a good buy and hold uh, for your PC. Coming number five, we have Marvel Comics Fantastic Four issue 48, CGC 9.2. This is a very high gray. Uh, considering that this book came out in 1966, you won't see too many of these at this gray. Uh, this one has um, final auction price of 10,800 with 53 bids and 24.99 shipping. So let's go over to a GPA here. All right, so GPA here, we hit 9.2. If we go across, we have the uh, the 12 month average of um, 17,000, 90 day average of 13,000. Obviously, this is a good deal. You got it for um, almost. Uh, $2,400 less than what the 9 day average is and obviously definitely some hundred dollars less than the 12 month average and definitely uh, less than what the 2022 average is so a good buy I guess 
But the question is, will the book keep going down? I mean, if the book keep going down, then it will be a bad buy. But you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. So, oh, uh, look at this right here. This book sold at a high of $24,000 back in 2022. And low of 14400 in 2022. So, yeah, this is the lowest it has been since uh, 2022 here. Coming number four this week, we have Fantastic Four Issue 1. This one came out in 1961. This is the Great Seas 2.0, the first appearance of the, the Fantastic Four team. This one has a buy now price of $12,999. So let's go over to uh, Go Collect. So let's, let's go collect right here. Uh, so the same book came out on August 8, 1961. And let's scroll down here. This is a, a 2.0. So uh, we'll go ahead. So the, the Go Collect suggests a fair market value of $11,000. When you average thirteen thousand and seventy eight, ninety eight average is down down seven thirty three. So, the the it's trending down though. So you, the the buy ought to pay, almost, um two thousand dollar more than the thirty day average, and obviously one thousand dollar more than the ninety day average, and compared to the fair market value, probably almost two thousand dollar more though. But then, I mean, these books probably have go for sale. So sometimes you just have to okay to get the, the book in your PC there. Coming number three for this week, Avengers issue one to one hundred, uh, complete run, and I do have a couple of uh, comic books that are graded though, and all the key issues are listed there. And uh, this one has an action price of eighteen thousand dollars, but it's actually sold for fourteen thousand dollars though. Let's click on, click onto it, see uh, what you get for this. So obviously we have issue one right here, it's a graded three point five, uh, issue four three point five, and also this is the Black Hawk. Uh, I'm sorry, not Black Hawk. This is the uh, Black Knight uh, rated, uh, and let's see what else we have. And some of these are raw issues that they have there. So, yeah, instant collection. I mean, if you were to buy each individual issue separately, it probably would cost you a lot more than um, the fourteen thousand dollars that you're paying to buy this collection right now. There, so definitely um, very uh, very nice collection here. Alright, so yeah, I don't have uh definitely don't have these in my collection there. Coming number two this week with X-Men issue four, CGZ 9.2, first appearance of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. This is a Marvel key issue, and this one came out in 1963. Uh, this one has an Addison price of $17,999.99. It's actually sold for $14,500. But let's go over to uh, Go Collect. Uh, so Go Collect right here. This one came in 1964. Back then we have 36 pages. So let's go down here a little bit. So uh, here we are, 9.2. Uh, Go Collect suggested a fair market value of $16,000. Unfortunately, there weren't too many sales. So the last sold price that they have, according to Go Collect, was $16,800. So you get, I mean, if you look at these two numbers, then the buyer think they got a good deal because you, you, the buyer paid fourteen thousand five hundred, and fair market value you're going to go collect sixteen thousand dollars. Coming number one this week with Amazing Spider-Man issue one. This one came out in 1963. This is CC 4.0. However, it is a signature series because it's a, it's a yellow label. It's signed by the creator. This one has an item rate of 16,000. But it's actually sold for 14,700 though. Let's go over to Go Collect there. Uh, so Go Collect right here, Amazing Spider-Man one. And this is a 4.0. The 4.0 right here. Uh, go let's suggest uh, a fair market value of 14 dollars but this is a blue label though the one that was sold on um, ebay was the yellow label one year average nine day average so based on the nine day average you're looking to add almost four thousand dollars just for the, just to get the signature on it though but based on a fair market value you're looking to have 700 dollars more for the signature but i wouldn't use the fair market value i would probably use this more here uh, because the, the comic book price are trending down though. 
uh, fall down doll um, just get the, the signature on the combo well if you enjoyed the content please like comment subscribe and i'll see you next week bye